This is a story about what can happen in a crash, the importance of a quality body shop, and what can happen when a vehicle isn't repaired properly after a collision. It starts with something you hope will never happen, but it's part of why you buy a Honda in the first place. A collision. This story is about a 2006 Civic Hybrid. It was a great car with Civic reliability and Honda safety features and technology built in. It was raining, kind of flooded on the freeway. My son was driving, headed back home around midnight or so. He was in the fast lane and a car came up on the right and shot by, throwing water up, it obscured his vision. He swerved into the median. The car did what it was supposed to do. It kept him safe, like he was in a little cocoon. He was shaken up, but he came out of it without a scratch. But the car itself was just a mess. When the damage is significant, the insurance company calls it a total and typically pays the insured, takes possession of the vehicle or what's left of it, and sends it off to a salvage yard. But instead of a trip to the automotive graveyard, someone obtained this Civic and repaired it. At least it looked like it was repaired. To repair a damaged vehicle for less, to cut cost, someone can be motivated to get pretty creative to cut corners, and that's where this story really begins. Unfortunately, what you see is not necessarily what you get, and a detailed examination relies on a lot more than just the trained eye. An independent collision repair expert was asked to evaluate the repair and sent the vehicle to an expert body shop to start. Let me show you the car and let me show you what we found, what our first indicators were and how we felt. When we first walked up on the vehicle, you can see the paint. I could see that it had been repainted, but there was no drips, no dirt, no runs. But when you look a little closer, at the bottom of the door, the gaps were tight. The fender started to get tight. That was our first indication that we had a structural problem. So we got the car apart. Let's just take a look at what we found. This is where we had our biggest problem was inside here. The inside of the rocker has been welded back together by patchwork. And worse, they replaced the factory welds with brass. Not as strong, the repair cut, not done with a MIG welder, not proper, not safe. This is the strength of the car. This is important, this is very important. Bent, not repaired. Why? Nobody sees it. On another collision, it's weakened. If it's weakened, it's gonna to crush too quickly. If it crushes too quickly, it's gonna affect the airbag timing, maybe too soon, maybe too late. But it won't be the correct time. Injuries can happen. So let's take a look underneath the car. Very dangerous situation because this used suspension part failed. Because it failed, this wheel was able to turn in and out. This would have been a vehicle driving down the road with no control. This could have been horrible. And there were more signs of a problem inside. The seat back headliner, and the SRS airbag warning light was on. Honda not only has strict standards for engineering and production, there are also Honda standards for repair methodology. According to the experts at Verifax Automotive, the repair did not meet American Honda repair standards or the industry standard. The frame and unibody were compromised and not repaired correctly. And the safety systems, the side curtain airbag, and the driver's side airbag were not repaired or replaced at all. The moral of the story? Getting your Honda repaired properly and safely after a collision isn't an automatic. To get a quality repair, get involved. Go to a quality body shop. Make sure they know you care, that you want it repaired to Honda standards. So where do you find a quality shop? A great place to start is collision.honda.com where you can find a professional pro first shop with Honda specific training and more. You'll also find videos, what to do in a crash, downloadable checklists, and a lot more you should know about your Honda and collision repair.